Very good evening and a warm welcome to the Bukit Jalil Stadium here in Kuala Lumpur for a cold, wet evening of international football friendly. Today we've got Kim Pangon's Malaysia against Rio Hirosis, Cambodia. Both sides are essentially using this fixture to prepare for the upcoming AFF Mitsubishi Electric Cup. Faisal Halim is trying to get open a bit of space for himself as uh, Lee Tuck now on the edge of the box. Well defended, still Faisal Halim, and there you go. Malaysia break the deadlock. Faisal Halim. That was a bit of a messy situation in front of the box. But Faisal Halim completely capitalised on it, floated the box, and eventually got that finish that are completely cheated, you could argue, Hol Kim Hoi. Yeah, it was beautiful from Faisal Halim. Here's Lee Tao, not the best of first touches, but then Darren Locke, again with the hard work, pinches it from Cambodian defence and Faisal Halim had a look, didn't have much time, but took it sweetly with the outside foot, giving Gulhim Hoy no chance. Zaimi into the box, trying to find Darren Locke. Not too sure, Adni, but that should have been 2 0. I agree, I agree with you there. Um, the flight of the ball looked perfect for him, his jump. Nearly perfect, but yes, I think it was a bit too early, the jump, and that's where he couldn't get control of the header. Itak picks it up. As Faisal Halim has got bags of space. Still Faisal Halim treads it through for Litak. 2-0 Malaysia. Litak scores his first Malaysian goal on his debut for the national team. Beautifully created by Faisal Halim. Litak at the age of 34. On his debut for Malaysia. Bags a goal. Faisal Halim as well had to get the timing of the pass. On Chamberlain from outside the box. Got to see more of that from Cambodia. This time around, uh, not exactly trouble. Kalabulai was slightly wide. Now, Litak for Malaysia. He's been heavily involved in everything positive about this first half. Ruven Theron into the box. That almost completely cheated everyone. Including Ho Kim Hoi, who's probably expecting the ball to go towards uh, Darren Locke. Like you said, Keish, um, his daily food is all. It's definitely a cross. It's a definitely a cross in the six yard box, but he's clearly fooled everyone. It was quite a risky one as well at the back. If it wasn't for Kuzaimi PE's recovery and eventually Azamazmi. Malaysia continue to put pressure, here's Faisal Alim, another opportunity and there you have it, 3-0 to Malaysia, this time around Faisal Halim does not make a mistake. Once he finds himself in that pocket of space, he can be absolutely devastating. Again, Kish, this is where we do come back to the point where his decision making sometimes is just spot on. Great work from Ruben Thiran, and again, Darren Long with an assist. Again to Faisal Halim, and Faisal Halim this time, no mistake. Great first touch, second touch in the goal. David Rowley almost gifting possession. Here's a bit of space for Cambodia. There is a bit of a room here. Trying to engineer a bit of a shot, Sieng Chantia straight into the palms of Ho Kim Hoi. We expected a lot more from uh, 
Chantia in that situation. That's a good ball, it's a good run. I think his uh, second touch here was poor. Did not put him in a position where he could take a shot. Decides to cut it back in with his weak left foot. Fazli Maslan finds Lee Tuck. Nur Hakim has a bit of space. Still Nur Hakim using his uh, pace to try and find himself into the box. Still Hakim tussling for the ball down that left. Lee Tuck, teasing ball. Just couldn't be executed by Safawi. That's good effort. That's a really good effort from Safawi. It's not easy. The ball's dipping as it comes to him. He's had to try the flying header. But the referee's done well. I think he's done well letting the, the play flow. And this is where the opportunity comes. It's a Fisal launches it up front towards uh, Sieng Chantia. Opens up a bit of space here for Kyo Sok Peng. Trying to find a bit of an opportunity there for Cambodia. But Kyo Sok Peng just couldn't pull one back. Great work from uh, Chantia as well to win the header. Yeah, it was. Um, Shalom Nazim did win the header. That's why Kyoso Peng was in a position to make Kalamula work. Here's Safawi. Looks for the late run of Nur Hakim. Who tracks it back towards David Rowley. Punched away by Hulkim Hoy. But that was much, much better from Malaysia. Yeah, it was good football. Especially the pass from Safawi towards Nur Hakim. Nur Hakim didn't take too much time to think where he's going to put that ball when he receives it. Zamazmi. David Rowley, Guero now, drops deep. Finds Safawi. And there you have it, fourth goal for Malaysia. Stu Wilkin opens his Malaysia account on his debut as well. Finally, a goal in the second half. Once again, Safawi Rashid was involved. Yeah, something we expected early into the second half, but um, not the left. Not the less. They've scored another goal. It's good work. It's not the best shot from Safawi, but Stuart Wilkin has to be there. He has to be quickest to pounce on that rebound. Sokpang into the box, headed by, it was a Boris Kok. And there you have it, the referee has blown the whistle to indicate full time here at the Bukit Jalil Stadium. It is Malaysia 4, Cambodia 0.